Is it okay to ask a girl how many guys she slept with? How frequently do girls masturbate? <laughs> <laughs> girls actually like dick pics. Absolutely not. Do I come across to you like you can you can send me these pictures? Yeah. This is what I'm fine <laughs> really means. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Like it's normal, everyone has needs, and I'm pretty sure they'll be doing the same because if you're not, then what are you doing? I mean, are, yeah. you, are you cheating on me? Like, shit. Yeah. Questions. What? Give me your phone. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Put your location. <laughs> it really does vary. I think speaking to different friends, mm. um, and because I mean, it's a topic, we speak about it, and I feel like every friend of mine is very different. You get ones that are all the time, like, all the time, mm. every day, yeah, you know, it's, three it's, times a day, whenever whenever they can get it in, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like... Should, the, I go to the, should I just go to the bathroom? Can I... Cigarette break? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you have some girls that are literally just... Just here and, there, here and there. Or some that don't actually do it. Some, yeah. don't, some would rather just wait and wait for their men to please them, but it just depends on your sex drive and... Yeah. Definitely. Do girls find it attractive if a guy has many options? Like if he claims to have many options? Absolutely When not. he's like, baby, no, I'll get to. The thing is, if you're good looking, and I know you're good looking, I don't need to know that you have a ton of options to think that you get gal. Like, yeah. Word. I should just be able to look at you and know that you get gal. Yeah. You telling me is like... You telling me? Are you trying to make me jealous? Because if you're trying to make me jealous, we that's can, a trait. We can both play. We can play that we game. We can play. But you're gonna that's lose. not a trait that I want. Yeah. And yeah, you're going to lose. So mm. I feel like if you tell me that, yeah. and me, I've actually had that on a date mm. where we're sitting down. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're, sitting, we're sitting down <laughs> and he's mm. like showing me messages and telling me that he's talking to this person and that person. Kind of like no like, girls and he's like, yeah. This person's messaged me, that person's messaged me. I'm like, that's great for you, hun. I mean, I'm talking to other people too, but I don't need to tell, I don't need to tell you. Them. Why are you here? Go visit your other options I've then. I've got plenty as well, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm here. I've picked you. Right. Enjoy your time. I think when they start boasting about girls that they've had or girls that they've done things with, it's just unattractive. It's, it's more in, and I think and they're it's insecure, more insecure. Yeah. Insecure because you feel like you have to prove to me. Yeah, they want to make you. Do you know what it is? They want to make you feel like you're special that you're here, honey. Next question: Do I pursue a girl who's cancelled on me twice? No. No, because if she really liked you, she wouldn't cancelled twice. Like, I'm being honest. If I really like a guy, I mean, me, please just send me location. Send me location. I'm there. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see you today. You I'm cancelling my friends. <laughs> Group holiday cancelled. So I do genuinely believe that sometimes you might, you might not be in the mood. I mean, girls have hormones. Let's yeah. be real. So what, we might wake up and we're on our period, and it's like, oh, I'm not in the date mood today. Yeah. So I can say once. If you cancel once, then fair enough. I like, feel I've been like, in that position. I feel like if I really like you, I cancel the first time for like a genuine reason. Yeah. The second time, I would feel so bad that. I've already cancelled on you. I'd make sure that I'd be there. That I'd yeah, I'd be so self-aware that I've cancelled the first time. Yeah. How am I cancelling the second time? Mm. You're making Definitely. yourself look like a fool if you keep messaging a girl that's not entertaining you. So and if I'm... the energy is not the same, then you yeah. need to know where your place is. We Too want much... the persistency from uh, someone we want. Someone we want. Yeah. Yeah. So if we don't want you and yeah. you keep coming at me, I will throw up. Like, block, 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 block. Next question. Next question. Do girls actually like dick pics? Absolutely not. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see do. it. Do you? Him, not like unprovoked dick pics. Please don't do that. Yeah, unprovoked. If, like, it's your, if you're my man, yeah, we can do that. But like. I get dick pics sent to me yeah, on the ground. Yeah, and it's just... Unacceptable! And I don't think it's very nice. Like, you could blind me. I don't <laughs> want to see it. I don't want to see it. If he's your man, and he's just like, babe, I miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, I, yeah, I can agree with that. Otherwise, no. No. Like, It's really? disgusting. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're and then it be kind of, it's of like, you. kind of, then I feel like it kind of then says it tells you what they think about you yeah that they just want that right yeah. if i don't know you i'm like do do i come across to you like you can you can send me these pictures yeah is it okay to wake you up in the middle of the night for sex yeah 
I feel like it depends. Not every night, please. I'm tired. <laughs> I work. <laughs> but yeah, I think so. But I th if you're gonna wake me up, then you gotta come with the good, the good, the good, good. Don't cool. wake me up for some mediocre, like average, lazy. some lazy sex. Like if you do it with your chest. If you're gonna wake me up at 2 a.m., wake me up at 2 a.m. Fuck shit up. Yeah. Should I tell a girl I'm a virgin or just wing it? <laughs> could you be Oh with, my god. Could you be with someone that's a virgin? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, no. There's no way. I mean, look, I'm no no offense to the virgins out there. <laughs> I actually really rate you and I really appreciate you because that means you're a good person. But I feel like for where I'm at in my life, <laughs> you're a good person. I feel like for where I'm at in my life, I I'm not I'm not looking to take ten steps backwards. You know I, teach you. having to teach yeah. I've already had to teach. Yeah. So no. I'm not revisiting the past. <laughs> it's not what I'm trying to do. You've graduated. You don't want to go back to college and do university again. There's no way. Mm. Absolutely not. Um, I can't say wing it because imagine you get there and you're scared and then you have a panic attack and then I'm thinking it's me when it's you. Like <laughs> You ain't about to give me self-doubt, honey. And I think that's what it is. I feel like when you're with someone that isn't that great, you mm. start thinking that it's you. Again, I don't have time. Do you know how long it's taken me to build myself up to here for you to come along with your virginity self <laughs> and bring me back down to here? We're not doing it. Should he wing it? Should he wing it? Wing it. Wing it. Don't tell me because you won't have another chance. Think about it. Do this for you. Do this for you. Wing it. Because if you tell me, then you have no chance. I won't pick up my phone again. You've... you've <laughs> Fucked it, literally. Fucked, Fucked it. it. So oh, then you have to start it. again. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. <laughs> you're ruining it. You're ruining ru 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 it. <laughs> you're ru look at my lips. You're ruining it. Ruining it. Next question. Ooh, let's go. Do girls honestly like nice guys? Yes, we do. We love nice guys. We do. But what? we don't. But I do yeah. find when you're younger, you do usually you tend to, to go for it. like the, the bad boy. Yeah. I feel like that's... I feel like you need to go through a stage. I feel like in life, if you've not had your heart broken at a young age and you have heartbreak now, 25 plus, you're in hell. So, <laughs> honestly, you need to experience heartbreak. As a girl, you... <laughs> you're in hell. <laughs> imagine, imagine going through heartbreak right now at this age. Could never. 16. I mean, I am. Can go through heartbreak at any age. But the worst type of heartbreak needs to happen when you're younger. Yeah. So you know so that you know and you learn. Yeah, that you so can, that you can prevent that from happening again. You kinda know the red flags, the signs, and you're just a lot stronger. Yeah. So if it does happen, you're just not weak like you was. Prior. Yeah. yeah. I would like to have a nice guy, you just can't be a pushover. Yeah. So that's what it is. we're the, like we're the type of girls that if I can have it my way, always I will always have it my way. You need to be, like, you need to have a head strong where sometimes yeah. you'd be like, Andrea, no. Yeah, no. Or Nia, no. Put me in my place because yeah. it's sexy. How does a guy politely ask for a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're my man, you ain't got to ask. Gonna ask. And if you're going to ask, you haven't got to say it in any kind of way. Just the look, you know? Just the look. Like, be nasty. That's it. You haven't got to ask. I but if we're dating, asking, it's a bit like, oh. Now, let's say if we're like three dates in. You ain't giving no head in three dates in. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. And oh. you turn round <laughs> and you say to me, mm. like. You're never hearing from me again. You're never hearing from me again. Ever. Unacceptable. Like, ever. Unacceptable behaviour. Very rude. Next question. You okay? Uh, am I better than your ex? Honey, first of all, you're insecure. <laughs> Second of all, you wouldn't be here if you weren't better than my ex. Exactly. And why would you ask me that question? I feel like my ex is no longer here, so clearly reason. he wasn't that great. So, and if my ex was still here, even if we're done, <laughs> <laughs> then that kind of answers your question. You're not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, like, if you're here and the ex is still in the picture, you're number two, hun. Yeah, that's a sign. But to answer your question, you wouldn't be here if you weren't better than my ex. <laughs> and that's facts. Damn, the rosé is getting into me. <laughs> Next question. Would you like if I kissed you in public? Yeah, I love PDA. I'm a PDA mm. fanatic. So love she it. does love that. It. I did. Where? What are we talking? What? In like Oscar Street? Yeah, kiss me. Anywhere. In fact, you can do more than that. Do more than that in public. I love it. Yes, the, uh, yes, the more than that, yes. But I just feel like with people looking at you yeah. and watching you in public. I, just I do PDA on trains. I do PDA in <laughs> queues. I do PDA. <laughs> you name it. You name it. Have you ever cheated on someone? I have not. <laughs> that is cheers. Cheers. <laughs> say no more. Um, this is where I say less. I don't. <laughs> do you know what it is? Don't. If you want to ask us those questions, no. Who would? Who would openly be like, yes, babe? So this is where, I, let's let's just go back a little. So you see the, how many people have you slept with? <laughs> I'm going to lie. And then when you ask me that question, I'm also going to lie. No, I'm joking. I've been asked that question before and I've been very honest. Mm. Um, I'm not a serial cheater, guys. I'm not trying to ruin my rep out here. I don't cheat like that. But I have. <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I have before once before <laughs> and I had my reasons and I think everyone has their reasons not justifying it it's wrong should never do it and if <laughs> you feel like you're unhappy or you're just yeah you're not happy in your current situation then you should just leave it before you make those mistakes, mistakes. and hurt someone else and hurt someone else and I've had it done to me so yeah, yeah it's not very nice at all if you're gonna ask me that I think I, I, I would be honest I'd be honest yeah. Because I think I would be so sure in myself that you would understand why. Again, not justifying it. But I feel like <laughs> I'm not justifying it. But I do feel like if I was to tell them why, mm. they would they would get it. Okay. They would understand. I mean, <laughs> I, ain't got nothing. I didn't understand. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> what is the first thing you notice in a man? So if you're walking up towards me. Probably your haircut. Yeah. But for me, actually, mm. height. Height I mean, is the yeah. first thing. So she she likes tall guys, but I'm five yeah. foot one. So if you're shorter than me, I'm, honey. <laughs> you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little kid to me. You're a little boy. <laughs> yeah, you're a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You're a little boy. Sit down. Does the size matter? Absolutely. It really does. <laughs> oh my God. Now the thing is, people that don't have the uh, size, uh, yeah, they say they, they they always come up with. You know, it's not all about that, you know. Yeah. You know, I can do this and I can do that. But That's already a red flag. As soon as you hear that, run, run for the hills. Yeah. Don't waste your time because, um, trust me, nine times out of ten, it is small. Carrot. <laughs> but this is what scares me is. When you meet a guy, you don't usually, unless some of you do, you don't usually sleep with them straight away. So no. what if I fall for you? Oh, exactly. This is the problem. So the size, this is the debate we was having. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me break it down to you. You're getting to know a guy. You obviously, what, two, three months down the line, you still haven't seen what he's bringing to the table because, you know, you, you, don't, you don't sleep with him right away. Then you already really like him. You, may, you might be infatuated by him. You're not in love, you're infatuated by him. Then it comes down to it now, and it's like, this is what he's bringing to you. You're gonna be pissed off. Right, next one is interesting. This is on. Do you split the bill? If, if, <laughs> if, <laughs> if. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, no. You, you take me out on a date. So this is, this is my theory. Mm. I don't usually ask a guy to go on a date. I've never done that in my life. You asked me to go on a date, our first date. I do not expect you to think that I'm going to split the bill. <laughs> this is your chance, his chance, right. your chance to 
prove to me what kind of guy you are, what you can do for me. This, this is, this is it. I'm giving you, I'm giving you that chance, that opportunity. Yeah. Now, second date comes. Actually, third date. You still have to pay. Like you're courting me. This is, this is a process. You have to win me over. And I feel like the first couple of dates, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> ten. Six, ten. Those first couple of dates, depending where we're, where we're at. I do feel like, yeah, you have to pay. I'm not splitting the bill. And if you expect me to split the bill, I'm walking. There's no way. So you're covering it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Joya, come get me. <laughs> come get me. Um, split the bill. I completely agree. First couple of days when you're trying to win me over, you should pay. Because yeah. no one asked you to come here. No one asked you to say, Andrea, are you free next week? And can we go out for food? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You put that on yourself. How are you going to win me over? Yes, I'm going to always offer. This is my thing. We'll go on a date and I will always offer, say, babe, do you want to split the bill? Not, you should. Not for the first couple of days. Not for the first. You do you offer. Should, what, you don't offer? You I offer. Expect. No, I offer. <laughs> I expect. <laughs> no. no. So I would offer, but I'm expecting you to be like, no, I've got this. I've got us. In a relationship, I could potentially one day say to you, should we go out to this place? Like, let me take mm -hmm. you out. When I say take you out, imagine I ask to take you out and then the bill comes and I'll be like, oh, it's this and this each. And you, you have no money. You haven't been paid yet. You, you haven't get paid. paid at midnight. <laughs> and now we're all having to wait. Like the wait is coming, bit. time to pay. You're like, no. You we have to wait. My money don't drop till 12. My money don't drop till 12. Like, do you, want, do you want me to help you close up? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean up. I'll, I'll clean, clean up. up with you. <laughs> what is the proper answer to does this dress make me look fat? <laughs> now, never say yes. Never say yes. You could just be a lot nicer and say, <laughs> I, I like that dress, but you see the other one? You see that other one that you wore <laughs> last week? <laughs> I prefer that one. I do. I feel like there's then, ways then, around then if it. I turn around, so, so this looks ugly then. Because, but the thing is, if you genuinely look ugly, you don't want to walk out looking ugly. But if I'm asking you, I know we look ugly. <laughs> then take it off. So realistically, don't say yes, because I feel like that's brutal. Just turn around and say, you know what, babe? I see what you're saying. Reverse psychology. If we're asking you that, then you know, in our heart of hearts, we don't like it. So do the reverse. Do the, you know what, babe, you're right. You can do better than that. You are better than that. That's, that, that's such a better answer. To me, the safest option is, no, it doesn't, because in my head, I will know if I look big. Yeah. Unless you don't know yourself. Yeah. And then that's, I mean, shame. That, that's on you, honey. Uh, last question. What does I'm fine really mean? <laughs> I am not fine. You just done mm. fucked up. You fucked up. But let, let me, let's finish it. This is what I'm fine really <laughs> means. I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you fine? Great. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Fine means you better start figuring out what you did wrong. What did you do? Think Figure about out, yeah. what you said from yesterday morning. In fact, just apologize for being you. Like, <laughs> apologize for everything that you could have done. Yeah. Apologize for waking up in the morning. Apologize for not making me breakfast if you didn't make me breakfast because it could have been that. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for not buttering my toast puppy. Exactly. You know I like three layers. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're doing your <laughs> and how do I know? I just know. What if? Because you you know we do this. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Woo! You're you're in deep, you're in deep, 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 deep trouble. Shit. Just, just do what you gotta do to make it up to her. Yeah. But, yes. but yeah, that's all the questions all for, today. for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed those questions. There's quite yeah. a few, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. We did. I actually really enjoyed it. If you're a nice guy, whoever you are, my yes, Instagram handle is. <laughs>
right here. We'll put it right here. Right here. Happy about that. But we'll see you on our next video. Mwah.